Hey y'all, Alex here from ClimbStrong. Um, we're getting a lot of questions from our athletes and from members on the website about how to continue to maintain finger strength uh, while not being able to go to the gym. Um, and so we don't really need a, a hangboard to be doing that, like a fixed hangboard to be doing it, um, to hang body weight. You know, if you have a hangboard at your house, then great, you, you don't have to change anything. But if you're like me and you live somewhere where you can't hang a hangboard but you have a flashboard or some kind of like portable hangboard that you would normally bring to the crag, maybe you have tension blocks or like an awesome woody setup or something, um, we can still get some good input into our fingers, um, some good stimulus into our fingers with just pulling against a fixed position, right? And so, uh, we don't have to make this complicated, okay? We just, let's just say for now that you're gonna do three sets of 10 second pulls uh, against your feet, right? And this is the position I like to be in. It's easiest for me. I can do uh, both hands at the same time. Um, and you don't wanna be like pulling against the tension block um, as hard as possible, but to some extent in these isometric pulls, like you're gonna be self-limiting, right? Like you, your body will give out um, before 100, 100%, like if, before you're gonna injure your fingers, okay? But I would say like for myself, I'm just gonna try to pull at somewhat of like a 75% of my max pull for 10 seconds. And so I'm gonna get myself in a good seated position here, somewhat like tight back, lats are down and engaged, um, my core is nice and tight, and I'm just gonna Ten seconds. Maybe you're integrating this with some strength stuff, and you you know get up, do some body weight single leg deadlifts, do some push-ups, a couple of mobility exercises, and then you come back to those to that ten second pull. Um, and you can add in more grips, um, you know, three to four grips at one time. Uh, it doesn't have to just be a four finger half crimp, um, but. Remember, the, the basic principle here is that you don't need to make it more complicated than it is. All we need to do is just get some stimulus against our fingers, and that's gonna be really beneficial in maintaining finger strength while we can't make it to the gym.